whether you're educated or illiterate, whether you live on the boulevard or in the alley, you're going to catch hell just like I am. We're all in the same boat. And we all are going to catch the same hell from the same man. He just happens to be a white man. All of us have suffered here in this country political oppression at the hands of the white man. Economic exploitation at the hands of the white man. And social degradation at the hands of the white man. Now in thinking like this doesn't mean that we're anti-white, but it does mean we're anti-exploitation. We're anti-degradation. We're anti-oppression, and if the white man doesn't want us to be anti-him, let him stop oppressing and exploiting and degrading. I'm not a politician, not even a student of politics. In fact, I'm not a student of much of anything. I'm not a Democrat. I'm not a Republican. I don't even consider myself an American. If you and I were Americans, there'd be no problem. Those hunkies that just got off the boat they're already Americans. The Polacks are already Americans. The Italian refugees are already Americans. Everything that came out of Europe, everything, every blue-eyed thing, is already an American. And as long as you've been over here, as long as you and I have been over here, we aren't Americans yet. Well, I am one who doesn't believe in deluding myself. I'm not going to sit at your table and watch you eat with nothing on my plate and call myself a diner. <laughs> sitting, at, sitting at the table doesn't make you a diner. You must be eating some of what's on there. <laughs> Being here in America doesn't make you an American. Yeah. Being born here in America doesn't make you an American. Yeah. Why, at birth made you American, you wouldn't need any legislation. You wouldn't need any amendments to the Constitution. You wouldn't be faced with civil rights filibustering in Washington, D.C. right now. They don't have to pass civil rights legislation to make a poll out in America. No, I'm not an American. I'm one of the 22 million black people who are the victims of Americanism. One of the 22 million black people who are the victims of democracy. Nothing but disguised hypocrisy. So I'm not standing here speaking to you as an American or a patriot or, or a flag saluter or a flag waver. No, not I. I'm speaking as a victim of this American system. I see America through the eyes of a victim. I don't see any American dream. I see an American nightmare. 